Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the MATLAB code for the same video from that website. In this video, we'll talk about how to remove silence from an speech signal using frame by frame analysis. As this particular concept is very important in speech signal processing. So, open MATLAB. In MATLAB, let's first read the sound file data comma RFS. As we have discussed in our previous videos, uh, the audio ROM read command can be used to read any sound file. So let's say intro dot wma. So now let's uh, normalize the data so so that the maximum amplitude uh, of the signal is one. So that is equals to uh, because uh, here it is clear that this is a uh, two column matrix. So we only need a single column. So we'll make it comma one divided by maximum of well, let's see how the data looks like. So this is our data, sound data, uh, which we have just read. So these some portions are termed as silence. Uh, while we speak, we pause for some time, then we speak. So particularly if we talk about speech processing, then this silence portion doesn't contain any information, and they just uh, increase the processing power and may have uh, the accuracy effect on the final uh, final results. So that is why uh, prior to going to speech processing of the signal, uh, this is the first step of removing the silence from the speech. So this is uh, uh, what we discussed in this video. So prior to do prior to doing uh, this silence removal, uh, we will first uh, divide uh, this particular speech signal into frames. So frames is a concept like suppose there is a duration of two second duration of a speech signal, we will divide into a small small durations of speech. And generally 20 millisecond to 30 millisecond of duration is used for a frame. So let's define the frame duration first. So we will divide this complete speech signal into a 25 millisecond of frame duration. And then based on that, uh, we will further uh, 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 for each frame, we will apply some algorithm for removing the uh, silence. So frame duration is this. So total frame size will be uh, floor or frame duration into FS sampling frequency. So this frame size comes out to be 1102. So the number of frames, if we talk about NF, that will be simply by total length of the data divided by frame size. And this may not be the integer value, so we'll make it a flow so that uh, uh, we get an integer number of frames. So we'll get NF is 345. So we are getting uh, for 25 millisecond of duration, it will be 345 number of frames. So if we talk about some of the frames, we will have some information. Some of the frame will be consisting of uh, this uh, uh, silence. So let's first create frames. So prior to it, let's define time. Time equals to 0. For i equals to 1, 2, number of frames divided by frames of number of rows, comma, is equals to data of tan plus 1 to tan plus frame size uh, this tan will be incremented to tan plus frame size and then add so we have divided the frames so 
this frame matrix is there it has 345 rows and 1102 columns so each row is representing a frame of 25 millisecond now uh, we will apply a crude uh, algorithm for removing the silence because as the silence is there so the amplitude of the signal will be very less so we can define uh, a threshold value and we can say like if the maximum amplitude in a frame is less than this threshold then we will neglect that frame and will termed as a silence frame and uh, if it is not then that will be termed as a speech frame so this is very crude way of uh, removing the silence there are some more sophisticated and uh, good methods are also there those are energy based and autocorrelation based also there so we will talk about them in upcoming videos so uh, first let's find ids uh, for which uh, uh, the maximum amplitude is less than 1 so let's make max uh, maximum value or m vector which contains the maximum of frames because uh, if we just write max of frames then this will find the maximum value column wise but our frames are row wise so we, we can arrange this max command in this way so we will get m as a uh, 345 rows single column and each entry will be containing the uh, maximum value of that frame so now we will find the ids uh, for which m is less than 0.03 suppose we are taking the threshold as 0.03 so we'll get uh, they are 109 so the length of id so there are 109 number of frames are there which have amplitude of less than 0.1 and let's say we have want to counter verify it so let's say take any arbitrary frame number so 81 frame number contain the amplitude maximum amplitude less than 0.03 so let's see how this explode the 89th frame of not 89th uh, that was the 80th or 81 frame so it is clearly the maximum value is less than 0 0.03 so uh, uh, this is sufficient to note that uh, this contains we can also do one thing uh, we can make the absolute values of frame so that uh, not this one instead of id we can make the if absolute of m so uh, as there is no change but uh, that will be more accurate now we know so we will uh, take frames only uh, frame without silence we will take only those frames uh, which are not in the id part so uh, we can do it by simple command and that is uh, different ids are there so mm -hmm. Uh, we did a uh, instead of less than uh, we will find those frames uh, which have a maximum amplitude of uh, greater than 0 0.03 so that will be uh, easy for us to remove all other frames so we'll get 236 number of ids which uh, whose amplitude is greater than 0 0.03 and frames without silence uh, will be simply by frames of these id because if we do otherwise uh, we have to find uh, if we find those ids whose amplitude is less than 0.03 then 
for making uh, for removing the silence we need to find uh, those frames of uh, those frame ids whose amplitude is 0.03 so some more commands will be added to it so <coughs> uh, this is how we have removed all the frames so if we talk about uh, now length of this fws now we have only 236 number of frames now we can reconstruct our data so reconstruct data is very simple there is a command reshape of f f underscore ws dash comma one comma this one so our data has been reconstructed all the frames which were there they have been con connected concatenated to make it a single row vector so let's plot it and see how the data looks like Let's see else. F underscore WS. Okay. Plot data underscore R. comma all the values now again data underscore r is the shape now let's plot the data reconstructed data so we did a mistake again so it will be a dash value now let's plot it yes now it is reconstructed data without silence so we can have hold on command and we will plot the original data into it in red portion and then it will be easy to visualize for us which portion has been removed. so this red data is the original data with silence and this blue data is the sig uh, signal uh, when silence has been removed so it is clearly visible these portions have been removed in the reconstructed signals all these portions which contains the silence have been removed so by this method we can easily do that and we have also created a m file for doing the same and this file will be available uh, on the website shortly uh, it will be available on website and you can also download it from our website so let's try to run it and it is doing the same exactly and uh, this is how the signal looks like so i hope you can understand how to remove silence by this method and this may be very useful in your some project based on a speech signal processor. So that's it for this video. Thank you.